Seth Burgley is from Joliet, Montana. He is the man that introduced this bill, HB 385, in 2017, that would have lawfully armed our teachers in the schools of Montana. We've invited him to come. He's here tonight. I want him to come and talk about this bill. Would you welcome, please, Seth Burgley? Well, good evening, everybody. It's an uh, honor and a pleasure to be here. It's always great to be in a room with a bunch of people that love guns. <laughs> so, I guess to start this out, I want to read a quote, quote from a Frenchman, which might seem weird, but I think you'll agree with me that it makes sense. He said, and 150 years ago, when he was battling socialism in his country and the move towards socialism, he was looking to America. And he said, life, faculties, production. In other words, individuality, liberty, and property. This is man. And in spite of the cunning of artful political leaders, these three gifts from God proceed all human legislation and are superior to it. Life, liberty, and property do not exist because men have made laws. On the contrary, it was the fact that life, liberty, and property existed beforehand that caused men to make laws in the first place. As a legislator, and I've seen several legislators in this room, this is the Constitution. This is the, the basis for the Constitution, is property rights and individual liberty. So moving forward, I introduced a bill last session that would have allowed school officials to carry a concealed firearm. There were requirements for training in the bill, and it would have, you know, everybody calls it the teacher carry bill, but the reality is when I'm looking at a school situation, there's, there's really two types of people that I think will carry guns or that I think should carry guns or could carry guns um, possibly. There's a type of people that are very well trained and that if a shooter was to come into, this, into a room, they would know how to respond. They would have a basic understanding of you know, where they need to go, what they need to do. But then there's also going to be people, and you can look at the recent shooting in Florida at the coach who stood at a choke point and basically just took bullets that were meant for kids because he had no other options. There's going to be people like that who don't need to understand tactics. They don't really even need to understand how to shoot all that well. All they have to do is have a gun in their hand. And I think we lose in the debate, we lose the idea of all it takes is a guy with a gun. And that's a formidable offense. So in moving forward, there were 13... I believe, and I can look up the numbers. Um, the bill failed 43 to 57, and we have a 59 majority. So there were a number of Republicans that voted against the bill for various reasons. Um, I believe you have somebody coming up to speak later who is actually running against one of those people, so I'm sure he can bring that up to you. And uh, I think the main point in moving forward is that in this national debate, you know, I've had several people talk to me and they said, you know, the NRA is not the strength of the gun community. The NRA is, is a champion for guns, but they're an organization that really isn't, doesn't have boots on the ground. It's the people in the streets who reach out to their family members, and they reach out to their friends that may or may not shoot that much, and they win them over in the coffee shops, and they win them over at the restaurants, and they say, hey, look, this is, I'm a gun owner. This is what I look like. This is why it's important. So talking about being active, you know, there's a lot of people that are running for office. There's a lot of people that are, you know, getting involved in the sheriffs. There's a lot of people in this room, I'm sure, that are public servants. But what I would like to see is I would like to see the gun community as a whole stand up and reach out to people. Find a kid that might want to go hunting. Reach out to your neighbors that don't really have guns and invite them to go shooting. Because that's how we're going to win this in the end. We're going to win it by reaching out, by changing our communities, because it's going to be a bottom-up movement. Another thing I'd like to say about the possible gun laws that the governor will be proposing, assuming that we maintain the majority and that most of the people that served on judiciary, of which I was one, um, I was fortunate to be the vice chair, and I can guarantee you that any bill that comes from the governor's office that will curtail anything to do with firearms will not make it out of that committee. So.
St. George Tucker, who was one of the commentaries for the Blackstone's laws in England in the early 1800s, which is one of the basis for our law system in this country, wrote, this may be considered the true palladium of liberty. The right of self-defense is the first law of nature. In most governments, it has been the study of rulers to confine this right within the narrowest limits possible. Wherever standing armies are kept up and the right of the people to, care, to bear arms is under any color or pretext whatsoever prohibited, liberty, if not already annihilated, is on the brink of destruction. And I think that's what we're seeing in our country today. It's the slow movement towards, we only want to limit, we want slight gun registration, but they don't even know what guns are. Their idea of what they want to limit has no bearing on anything that actually exists. So I, I'm very hesitant to agree with them on anything. In closing, I would like to end with a quote from one of the uh, true patriots in this country, Patrick Henry, who I like to think had a flair for the dramatic and wasn't afraid to charge forward in just about any situation, said, are we at last brought to such humiliating and debasing degradation that we cannot be trusted with the arms for our defense? Where is the difference between having our arms in possession and under our direction and having them under the management of Congress? If our defense be the real object of having these arms, in whose hands can they be trusted with more proprietary or equal safety to us as in our own hands? Thank you for your time. Yeah.